you know, I'll decide to break with tradition and just cut the BS and cut the regular wrestling promo and decide to do what I do best and that's shoot. So just in case this video is taken off the NSW Facebook page, shame on info at YouTube.com. You see my unedited thoughts and opinions on World G, NSW, and Chris Taylor. You see, like I said from the get-go first, I don't have a problem with you. I really don't. I respect you, and you're one of the few people I can actually talk to outside of business. But you see, what I don't respect, what I don't understand, is how you go from referee to main event status. But I figured it out. You are where you are because of the company that you keep. And that company just happens to be Will G. And Will G just happens to be the owner of an NSW. Yeah, for those of you who did not know, Will G is the owner of New School Wrestling. You see, from the get go, I was not meant to be an NSW. I was scheduled to be on the first show. Because Will G heard who I was, heard, oh, he's a good little worker, but oh, he's too small. Another guy wasn't meant to be on the first show. Victor Andrews just happened to show up. He went out the first match and stole the show. He became the biggest star NFL has ever seen. And ever since I won that title from Victor, Billy G and the powers of be have been doing whatever they could to take that belt off me. But they haven't. You know why? Stuff it but in secret. It doesn't matter when the people come there, the boo me, the cheer me, throw stuff at me. I put people there. People come to the NSW show to see me. Chris, you don't have that. You, I'm not knocking you, Chris. You're a good little guy. But you don't put back in seats. People don't come to wrestling events to see you. But you are where you are because of the company that you keep. Like I said before, you're not the first person that will stand in my way because he wants that belt. He got a pretty little belt that he made. He doesn't want me to wear that. He made that for his people. You, Jojo Dance, and Meatball. The guys like you who go out there and shake hands, take pictures with kids. That's not me. I'm a bully. I'm a jerk. But what happened, or what's gonna happen, is that because of your friends, and because of the position that the people put you in, Friday night, you were 14 and been in college. Chris, I could believe you whoop your ass and do what I want to do. And this isn't a wrestling match, this isn't like, oh, let's go out here and you do this. No, this is me really beating you down and I'm in college. And I'm doing it. Chris, you just happen to be a stock back of fish right there and I'm doing it. To prove a point, I'm sick of the disrespect. And if this happens to be my last time working for NSW because of the comments that I'm making, because of the beating that I'm going to be used to, so be it. Really, G, I've blacked your eye before, and I have no problem doing it again. Chris, this is what's happening, and you just happen to show up, and happen to go through with this, you're gonna get hurt. You got a fiance, Chris. You got a family. The holidays are out of town. Tomorrow morning, while you and Really, G are out sipping coffee and watching the sunrise, you might want to leave for a minute. You could not hurt you. You hurt you because of the company you keep. I'm going to hurt you if you consider the disrespect that I continue to get at NSW. I'm going to hurt you because I can. I'm going to hurt you because I want to. If I just quit, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to do about it.